This is BBC World News and these are the headlines. The World Health Organization has said it will take several weeks to understand the new variant of COVID detected in South Africa. At an emergency meeting, it's called for a risk-based scientific approach to this new strain. The UK has put South Africa and five other African countries on a travel red list. France, Germany, Italy and other countries too have also imposed restrictions on flights from South Africa. In an escalating row over the Channel migrant crisis, France has cancelled a key meeting with the British government. The move comes after the British Prime Minister Boris Johnson made public a letter calling for migrants to be sent back to France. And rioting is continuing for a third day in the Solomon Islands, where international peacekeepers have been deployed. The demonstrators want the Prime Minister to resign, accusing him of neglecting some islands and being too close to China. Now on BBC World News, the latest business news from across the globe. World Business Report. Red list alert. Shares of travel firms sink as the new COVID variant in Africa raises fears of a global clampdown. And Black Friday blue shoppers are out in force, but bargains could be thin on the ground. Hello there, very warm welcome to you. This is World Business Report with me, Alice Baxter. First, this hour, stock markets all around the world have been feeling the reverberations from a new variant of coronavirus discovered in South Africa that's causing serious concern among scientists. Well, the UK is suspending all flights from South Africa as of midday, as well as from neighboring Namibia, Zimbabwe, Botswana, Lesotho and Eswatini. Airline stocks were particularly hard hit with IAG, that's the, uh, the parent company of British Airways, down more than 17% in Germany's Lufthansa, uh, losing some 12%. EasyJet and Ryanair falling similar amounts as well. Let's get a little bit more on this now. Let's dig deeper with Susanna Streeter, Senior Investment and Market Analyst at Hargreaves Lansdowne. Uh, Susanna, the airlines, they've just been particularly hard hit throughout this pandemic. They've been hoping, they've been positive about a little bit of, a, of an uplift. And this is just another blow, isn't it? 